I'm making pop tarts. I'm going to start off with the last thing that I'm going to use, which is sprinkles. Normally, I would just roll tiny logs of different colors and then cut them up to serve as sprinkles. But this time, I used an extruder. I wanted to see if it's better. And as it turns out, it is because I can pretty much keep the size even. I mean, look at these tiny logs. They're all even widths. After I make these miniatures, I will be donating them to the Northwest Palmer Clay Guild because we give them away during our state fair demonstration. So our members would be sitting in tables at Washington State Fair or Evergreen State Fair, and they will be promoting the use of polymer clay. And as people come and talk to us, they will give a keychain for free. I always enjoy making this. Previous years, I have made rainbow cakes, ice cream on a stick, Harry Potter book, the sorting hat, zombie fingers, bird skulls. Every year, I just think, maybe something different and this year I'm starting with pop tarts. Now I'm just cutting it to size. So I'm using my cutting mat as a guide and I think I use a three by five um of those small squares here. So I'm making two matching pairs and a matching pair will make one pop tart. For the filling you need to mix a paste. So all you need is a white polymer clay mixed with liquid polymer clay. And then we can just color this with any color we want. I use chalk pastels here. These pop tarts would have strawberry fillings, but you can make it any color you want. Before I proceed with the actual pastry, I'm going to put fillings in between the two parts, the top and the bottom. So I'm not even going to be careful here. I just want something there that would make it look like it has something inside because this basically is a pocket pie. So it needs kind of a hole in the middle and some something in the middle to show that it has a filling. Pop-tarts are basically pocket pies, and if you've made pocket pies, or even regular pies, you would teach the edges together. So it's the same here. We're just going to be going around the whole thing, pinching the side together. It's always lovely seeing tiny details in these things. So with the pocket pie, we're going to add more texture in the actual pastry using a toothbrush. We'll just go around lightly. Gentle pressure. Remember, you have a pocket in the middle that you do not want to flatten. it. After that, we'll go to coloring and we'll use a knife to get some chalk pastel powders from our chalk sticks here. I use three shades. One, a lighter one, more beigey. The next is more mocha colored, and then one darker brown. I know, I'm not very specific with color shades. I just go red, red, blue, blue. But you have all these color shades to choose from, so just look at it and see what you think would be best, and then go from there. If you're baking a pie, you would use a fork to texture the size of the pie all around. So this tiny gadget here that I made is so simple. It's just three toothpicks that I laid side by side, made sure I made sure that the top are aligned horizontally and then taped them together. So it's like a mini fork and I have three lines with perfect spacing in between them for my pocket pie sides.
we're down to the last few steps. At this point, we're going to add the sugar glaze on top. And for this, we're going to use the Palmer clay paste that we made earlier. It's made of Palmer clay, white Palmer clay mixed with liquid Palmer clay. And then we're just going to spread it on top as much as you want. After that, we're going to add the sprinkles, which we made at the beginning of the video. You can just drop some on and see where they land, or be like me and position every piece. It's all up to you. That's where the fan is. It looks better if we're going to see the ceiling oozing out. So I will be cutting this in half, and then I will use my tool to look at the hollow or the pocket inside and then add the strawberry filling in there i will let some of it flow down so that it does look like it's oozing out then the last step we bake it and of course always refer to your brand baking instructions there's i mean sometimes the temperature requirement varies very little but it's still best to follow your brands your polymer clay brands baking instructions usually i will bake this at 270 degrees for um 15 to 30 minutes depends on how many i have in there for for if i'm working on something else i will just let them there i mean they will not burn it's a low enough temperature but look into them don't forget them and set the timer that's the best way. And there we go. Ta-da! Pop-tarts!